Greetings, Dr. Nair, and everyone who is listening. My name is Lizette Tanya, and I will be doing a PowerPoint presentation about the marine fish stocks or the fishing industry in South Africa. Now, South Africa is a nation that is largely defined by the characteristics of its oceans. It, we have different ocean currents on both sides of the country that contribute to high levels of marine biodiversity and species. And the oceans that, the, these oceans that have a um, large uh, variety of species um, support diverse artisanal and commercial fish, fisheries. So the fishing industry has been looking at long-term sustainability of marine resources through responsible management because the industry plays a very important role in the social and economic well-being of people of South Africa and mostly people that are in coastal areas like Cape Town. So the past approaches to the management proved to be unsuccessful because the because they focused on mainly uh, a single species. So in, a means of trying to avert those problems and like and creating a more sustainable a sustainable fishing industry, they implemented holistic environmental management strategies and more sustainable fishing practices to ensure present and future generations are able to meet their needs. So for the holistic approach, they implemented the eco ecosystem approach to fisheries, which is short for EAF. Um, the, the EAE considers all marine organisms and processes that are interconnected and that are alter and that alterations in these processes are not easily recognized and also that once they get disrupted it is very hard to restore them. So these are some of the management strategies and objectives that the EAE utilizes as a strategy or a tracking tool to evaluate the fish the fisheries. Many of South Africa's inshore marine resources are considered to be over exploited and even some of them have collapsed and it is only a few that are fully exploited. And the reason for this is because of how easy it is for different marine groups to access these resources. So given the status of the inshore resources, there is an urgent need to update stock assessments to inform the appropriate management measures and allow for the implementation of rebuilding strategies of to, 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 improve, to improve the sustainability in the fishing industry. Because despite the Despite the implementations and the regulations that were introduced, the fishing industry was still being was still being um, exploited. And in 2002, at the World Summit of Sustainable Development, South Africa undertook to maintain and rebuild the fish stocks and to also maximize sustainable yield. As a strategy to Try to keep the promise that South Africa made at the World Summit. Regulatory means were introduced to try to limit the consumption by fish industries. So South African fish fisheries are managed according to the two, two um, regulations or strategies, which is the TAC, that means total allowable catch, and the TAE, which is the total allowable effort. So the total allowable catch is the, the limit that is set on the amount of fish that may be removed from the sea, which is over a given period of time, which that ranges from it can be 
from month to a year. And then the TAE is the effort controlled fishery that restrict the amount of effort that is used to catch the fish. So the things that are involved that are restricted in the total allowable effort could be the, the equipment that they use to catch the fish or maybe the number of men that are allowed per boat to go inshore and actually fish. Um, during the 17th century, angel predators such, such as whales were targeted by commercial fisheries in the southern oceans. So these fisheries at the time were limited by the lack of technological gadgets that would allow their vessels to have more power and make them more advanced. But after the Second World War, technology improved and this gave rise to the um, rich commercial offshore fishery that we currently have today or we see today. In the 1960s and 70s, there was intense foreign, foreign fishing activities in South African waters and that resulted in the over-exploitation of several species. So this happened until the implementation of the EEZ, which means the Exclusive Economy Zone, and it was implemented in 1977, but the rights of foreign fishing vessels in South African EEZ were revoked, were later revoked in 2002. More recently, the increasing globalization has led to increased trade in fish and fish products in general and in, 19, in 2008 the global trade in fish and fish products was valued at 100 billion US dollars with developing countries contributing to 80% of the world fish production although the amount Consumed varies by region and country. Um, the average consumption per person is 17.1 kg per annum. So in South Africa, in 2009, um, we exported um, about 76 worth 76 million worth of US dollars of fish and fishery products worldwide and the imports were valued at about 70 million US dollars also on a global scale. The seafood and fish market chains in South Africa are mostly influenced by the market prices and also by the availability of the species and how easily accessible it is to the customers. But more recently, market trends are influenced by the consumer awareness programs that the um, WWF South African Sustainable Seafood Initiative, which is abbreviated as SAFI, and eco labels like the Marine Stewardship Council. Um, which is short for MCM. Um, so like I mentioned in the second slide or the first slide that um, the environmental management strategies are more holistic and sustainable this time and around the world um, around the world fisheries are vital for ensuring the food security of billions of people with fish and fish products forming the primary source of animal protein in cities of people from both developing and um, developed countries. So additionally, the fishing industry plays a key role in, in ensuring food security by um, providing um, direct 
and indirect employment for for people. However, in assessing the overall impact of fisheries on food security, it is important that the impact on fish workers and their communities, the general and the poor, which is the people that are most vulnerable to malnutrition, must be must also be taken um, into consideration. So these are some of the important pointers for the general overview of the fishing industry in South Africa and how it operates and how it has become what it is today in some of the, um, the organizations and the rules that are involved in the fishing, in South Africa's fishing industry. Thank you.